cramping up, legs cramping up. I'm gonna show y'all the Chick-fil-A hack. You take your drink and your nuggets, open them up, you see these holes? You gotta pop one of them out, all right? Pop the hole out, just like that. Right. Put it through the straw, right? And now you got a drink <laughs> with your straw, just like that. That's the play. Dude, I never knew that's what it was for. Mm-hmm. My mind is blown. Mm -hmm. oh, you're worked, <laughs> what I have for you guys today is an interesting experience that I had last year where I ran into a pro skater, Zion Wright. I had a poser moment. Me. Somebody who's been skating for 15 years. And I think I know a lot of skateboarding tricks. I have a big bag of flat ground tricks. I can skate ledges, rails, pretty much anything except tranny. I'm not much of a tranny skater, but very interesting around the word poser and what is considered poser. So that's kind of what I want to like get into today because I feel like every generation kind of has their own definition of it, but it's constantly changing. It's not something that's like clearly defined and that's only it. It's like, it's evolving in the culture, in the community. I skate Vista Skate Park. West Boynton, I'm skating there, my board breaks. So my homie, Darius Woods, he gets boards from Skate Bus. He just loaned me a board. It was a real board, right? It already had some grip tape on it, cool. So I'm skating it, trying to big flip off the six that they have there. I'm coming back up the stairs and then he comes up the ramp, looks down at my board, he's like, yo, I like your grip. So I'm just like, oh yeah, appreciate it, thanks. It had the Louis V logo on it. So I didn't know if like he was kind of being like sarcastic and like, oh, you're trendy and shit like that. You know, like, you like nice shit. So I'm just like not thinking anything of it. And then I asked my friend Logan real quick, yo, Logan, is Zion on Shape Junk? Cause it's a Shape Junk grip tape. And then he looks at me, he's like, yeah, bro. He's like pro for them. He's got like a pro grip tape and everything. Looks down at my board that Darius just gave me. I haven't even gotten time to register when I'm skating. And he's like, bro, that's it. Your skating is pro model. And then I see that like, it literally has Zion Wright's like signature in gold on the grip tape itself. Like it's printed that way. And I'm just like, bro, I'm feeling like a total idiot, total dumbass right now. He was giving me a compliment because I'm skating his pro grip tape, showing support, he's showing support back. I just thought that was like a really awkward, weird experience. Maybe in the comments, a lot of people would be like, poser oh my god this guy doesn't skate for real but i've been skating for 15 years i have street clips i've put out three video parts four really i've been in the thrasher magazine thank you julian cummings also on the barracks board right here above tommy finn i even have a pro model for tiktok no i'm just playing so i just wanted to go over the meaning of what a poser truly is to me and what other people think it is so before we go to what is a poser we got to go to when so I just asked Velotti, he's been skating since like 2001, 2002. And so his definition of a poser, he said a poser is someone that skates, but isn't good. That's what a poser meant for his generation when he was coming up. When I was coming up skating like 2006, 2008, that's like when I was like really starting to get good. What we thought was a poser was someone that doesn't skate, but poses like they do skate. So you go into a cold, see like a billboard for like TJ Maxx and they're like, showcasing some jeans right but then the kid has a skateboard and it's brand new it's got no scuffs on it no scrapes that's what we thought a poser was you know just someone that is just posing for a photo with a skateboard but doesn't actually skate they're not actually about it not in the community now this newer generation thinks a poser is like someone that just only posts skateboarding clips for the internet only skates for social media and stuff like that there you have the problem like, why does the definition keep changing? Who's gatekeeping skateboarding? Who's making the rules? I thought skateboarding was no rules. Me personally, I think that if you skate, you skate and you like it and you're progressing, you want to progress, you're a skater. No one can say you're a poser, but I still get comments, even me. I'm just like, yo, can we just, can we chillax with that? Because there's a lot of people that are beginners at skateboarding that really want to learn how to skate. And it's really difficult because a lot of people are trying to tell them what's what and what's cool before they even like soak their feet in it, you know? If someone's downplaying your ability to skateboard, they're not in the right. You shouldn't be judging someone who's beginning at skateboarding and trying to pass judgment on them because you're a little bit further along. Skateboarding is all time and effort and everybody's different. Nobody's gonna learn on the same pace. So everybody's experience is different. As long as you're having fun, and you love to do it and you want to get better you're a skater 
That's it, period. Nobody could say anything. Before everyone started posting their clips on Instagram, the core skaters, they thought that was whack, that was weak. Like, you're filming a nice ass clip on your phone? Like, bro, get a VX, like, or don't even do it at all. Like, why, why are you posting it for the internet? Post it for your, your video part. Posting clips on YouTube was like weird. Just understand that things always like are not cool until they are. Things are always like whack or lame until someone makes it cool. So if you're ahead of the curve, just stay there because you're there first before everyone else sees it. That's my two cents on the word poser. So I'm on my break. What's for lunch? I got some black pepper Angus steak with some chow mein from Panda Express. It'd be hitting. So I'm gonna do five tricks before I go back to work. So good. The steak too. Back at it with the Jackson fives. even have to break a sweat I can get back to this food glorious food I just checked the camera roll. I did all that in two minutes and 28 seconds I saw this ledge over here and I was just peeping it I was like yo I think it's waxed I have to come back here after hours if you know what I mean right now I'm getting ready to put some new profile pictures on the new board because the Twitter board is filled up so here's all the profile pictures so if you want to get on this next board before we give it away, we have four boards that we're giving away. All right, all you got to do is follow this account right here. It's my second Instagram account. DM me. Make sure you DM me so I know whose profile picture to screenshot. It's very important. I get too many notifications. DM me so I know your profile picture. Before. After. Added some this shit stickers. It's almost done, so you guys know what to do. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. The little kid in me appreciates you guys.